Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku Charts.com daily analysis for gold for Wednesday, November 7, 2012. Well, a continuation of the trend to the upside today in a candle that's made a higher high and a higher low. Previous day's trading, we had a change of trend to the upside with a very solid bullish candle, a very large white body candle matching roughly the size of the uh, black body from two trading periods ago. So the uh, bearishness that we saw in this market and uh, the market finding support down around the 1680 level has been matched by the buyers for today's trading, or the previous day's trading, with the buyers coming in back into this market very solidly, um, closing with control of this market and showing strong commitment. Today a lot of that commitment has evaporated. The market uh, has continued the trend to the upside, so the buyers were strong enough to take out the uh, high of that candle. But we have a spinning top type candle which denotes indecision and it does set this market up for a change of trend back to the downside. Very small bodied candle and uh, this shows how the uh, momentum that the buyers had built up for the previous day has evaporated. The shadow on the top of the candle highlights the loss of commitment by the buyers. But by the same token, the shadow on the bottom of the candle also highlights the loss of commitment by the sellers for the trading period and that's why it's an indecisive uh, candle because of this uh, lack of commitment by both sides and uh, neither side really taking control of this market. Now the market uh, tested outside of the top of this highlighted yellow zone of support and resistance and we can see here previously how it's acted as, uh, as support and then resistance and now again for today's trading uh, resistance and support all in the one day. The market also tested above there to the Kijin Sen and found resistance there but also exactly to the Tenkan Sen and found support down there and uh, the round number 1700 has exerted its influence once again with the buyers coming in around there. In terms of the Fibonacci extension, we're examining the current first time frame uptrend and its relationship to the previous time the market was trending up. And here we've seen the market test exactly to the 261.8% level. It does suggest that there is very strong potential for a change of trend to the downside. And also the Fibonacci retracement, we've retraced uh, to the 100% level and been rejected from that area. So that's also significant and suggests that there is potential for a change of trend. In terms of Ichimoku, uh, we have a, a neutral market in big picture terms by trading within the cloud, so uh, no distinct uh, direction for this market uh, in the long term time frame, but uh, certainly a solidly bearish market in the medium term time frame by trading below the Kijin Sen. We've been trading below there for some time. We had that uh, uh, change in sentiment in the market, and the market went on with the uh, this downtrending action in the second time frame. Uh, with a series of lower peaks and lower troughs and here we're attempting to rally back up towards that kitchen center being uh, rejected from there. Uh, if this market can rally through the kitchen center and perhaps even close up above the cloud in a bullish manner that would be significant but uh, this indecisive trading uh, doesn't uh, show any uh, support from the buyers at the moment. It suggests that the buyers are lacking any commitment to take this market higher as are the sellers. In terms of the Tenkinson, the market is maintaining its uh, trading above the Tenkinson here, the green line, so a bullish market in the short term time frame. And uh, this may be uh, uh, something to look for. There is uh, perhaps potential for the market to trade higher. It's been some time since we've been trading above the Tenkinson in a bullish manner. So there could be a change of sentiment in the short term time frame for this market to be maintained above the Tenkan Sen. If we do see bullishness coming into the market then uh, and the Tenkan Sen holding, there may be potential for the market to trade higher. But at the moment, a lot of indecisive trading. With the market trading between these two barriers around the 1700 level and uh, the area around the Kitchen Sen, uh, we are waiting for a breakout uh, either to the upside or the downside. We do need to be patient. So, uh, a market that's really giving uh, quite some conflicting trading signals on the daily charts. Now in terms of the hourly charts, and here uh, we see the market uh, trading up above all of the three Ichimoku indicators. We had a very solid bullish breakout, uh, 
roughly a day or so ago uh, with the market trading above the cloud prior to that we were trading below the cloud and solid bullish trading up above both the Kichun Sen and the Tenkinsen with the Tenkinsen holding a support for this market then a change of sentiment in this short term time frame with some bearishness coming back in on the market trading in a very bearish manner down below both the Kichun Sen and the Tenkinsen an attempted rally back up above the Kichun Sen and the Tenkinsen and now we have the market trading around this flat uh, Kichun Sen um, very uh, indecisive trading, small bodies uh, and uh, no uh, clear uh, direction here in the medium term time frame because we're trading so close there to that kitchen cent but the market is maintaining its position above the Tenkan cent so the market's uh, remaining bullish in the short term time frame we saw the Tenkan cent here hold a support after we had that solid bullish breakout so there is potential for the market to trade to higher levels if we can maintain the trading up above the Kijun Sen here and test up above the swing higher and the 1721.6 level, uh, previous support level 2 by the way, uh, roughly around the 1722 level, then there is potential for the market to trade back up to this, the top of this highlighted um, area around 1728 or even test up to around the 1733 level. In terms of the 15 minute chart and uh, here we've seen the market uh, previously trading down below the cloud, uh, testing to the cloud, finding resistance there and a breakout up above the cloud with the market attempting to rally, selling off and finding support at the top of the cloud now. Uh, the market's trading above the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen as well, so a bullish market in all three time frames and it does suggest that there is uh, potential for this market to trade uh, higher as uh, we've seen on the hourly charts. Uh, crucial here is this area around the swing high, around the 1720 level roughly, and then to uh, this level uh, roughly around the 1721 level. If we do see uh, bullishness coming in as we're already seeing here, uh, there is a potential for the market to trade to higher levels.